Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you about Stitch and Glue Canoe with Sitar Strip Top. About 6 months ago, I bought my Canadian wife a canoe. It was a 17 foot touring canoe made of some sort of toughened composite plastic. It fit both of us with plenty of rooms for the two youngest children. The problem is that it weighs just slightly less than two baby elephants, making it possible for one of us to head to the lake and go for a tranquil paddle. Having two children in it also made it not very tranquil. So with quite a few supplies laying around from a cedar strip pedal board, I am in the process of making. I set about making a one person canoe that could be transported and launched by one person and would not fit any children. Further, these are all the supplies which are used for this project. Step 1. Cutting the panels. Following the very well detailed template plans in the instructions, I marked out all of the panels on one sheet of the plywood then by clamping the two sheets together and cutting out the templates I had all of the pieces I needed. I also chose to pre-cut out the bulk head panels which is optional as you can do it once you have the body stitched together. Step 2. Scarf Joints then for something completely new, scarf joining plywood, I opted for bud joints as opposed to anything more complex, laying a strip of fiberglass tape on some polythene and soaking in epoxy, I then placed the two pieces of ply butting up to each other in the middle of the tape, I then put some epoxy mixed with fill it across the joint and then another strip of the tape across the top. The joints were extremely strong and I had hazard a guess that the ply would have broken before the joint had I tried to ruin two days hard work. Step 3 Stitching Then it was time to stitch. I started by marking where I wanted each stitch and its corresponding hole on the adjacent panel. I only did this for the first panel as it was taking too long and it was much easier just to eyeball it on the first panel and drill the second panel when it was laid up next to the first. I then went round and cable tied very loosely all of the sections together. I also figured that the glass tape and resin would fill a lot of those gaps so what the heck I just cracked. Step 4 Gluing the inside I then ran painter's tape along each seam on the outside to stop the resin leaking out and went to town on putting epoxy and fill it along each seam on the inside. Now at this point I had to come up with a solution to dry the epoxy. Once cured, I went around and removed all of my ties and started sanding back the untidy epoxy. Lesson learned, epoxy resin and silica fill it is nigh on impossible to sand back. They say scientists have found six materials which are stronger than diamond. Step 5. Taping the outside. Now it was time to flip it and start taping. First I did a bit of sanding on the seams so that it would not tear the glass tape and then started applying the tape. First wetting the seam with epoxy, then laying the tape down and then soaking it with more epoxy. I am not sure why I was surprised. I had no point of reference for this, but it was not very easy at all to get a good flat finish. The tape would slide around, bunch up or start to separate. Step 6. Adding the Sida Strip as I mentioned, I had quite a bit of seda strip left over so I started putting a strip all the way around the top of the board. I will mention now that I am sure each of these bits of a board have a proper name but I am buggered if I know what they are. These strips were glued on with a combination of polyurethane glue where there was little strain and quick set proxy where there was more strain. I continued the strips around the inside and along the top of the side rail things everything was then softened up with a round over bit before sending my way down through the grids step 7 painting for any exposed wood i gave two coats of epoxy the inside three coats of white semi gloss animal paint and the outside three coats of green gloss animal. I then finished the wood with some marine varnish. The paints were also marine quality. 
not a lot i can say about painting other than i don't like doing it and still probably need another coat on outside step 8 adding the hatches i picked up a couple of waterproof hatch covers on ebay for about eight dollars each and i think they look pretty good step 9 the yoke for better understanding see the image below carefully for the yoke, I did a bit of research on the shapes before sketching it out and cutting a template with some leftover cedar. This was a mistake but I will come to that. I cut it out, round it off and sand it down. I gave it a couple of coats of epoxy and a coat of varnish before fixing in place. I attached it with removable poles as I understand that the yoke and seat which I opted not to put in as it will be a kneeler should be removable this was not a mistake and i will come to that now step 10 ready to pedal and there we have it my wife's mother's day present in 2022 i filled it with water just to check for leaks and it was ready to hit the lake although i did offer to take it on its maiden outing just in case it tried to sink